Wait, I was about to remove my makeup and go for a walk with my dogs, but I'm like, most there's something weighing on me that I feel like I want to talk about. And what is it? First of all, he said, <laughs> he said I have so many, <laughs> what did you say when you saw me coming downstairs? You've got so many personalities. <laughs> He's like, because we've done content and you'll see it. You'll see me with different hairstyles, different outfits. So the next thing he knows, I'm wearing a cap. This is how I chill at home. Minus all of the face beat, but you know, sometimes. But anyway, there's something that's, that came to my heart and I feel like it may be an obvious one, but I wanted to share it. I have adopted my second dog as of Sunday from KSPCA. Um, let me prefix this really quickly. I grew up with dogs. Uh, my dad had a dog, we had a dog called Maxi, I think for over a decade. And he was sweet and friendly. And I remember when he died, we were just devastated, but I was very young. And then we tried others and he was the most memorable. And so I think it planted something at the back of my head that I said one day, who knows in the future, um, I might want dogs. After having my kids, I felt like maybe a part of me was like, I want them to have a little bit of what I had just the opportunity to love and care for and grow with a dog. And immediately the first thing that came to mind was KSPCA. I've known about it for a very long time. By the way, this is not even an ad, guys. This is not an ad, it's not sponsored. But I told them, look guys, I want us to adopt. I didn't even know adoption was a thing. I read about it online, I read about what they do, and I said, okay, let's go and have a look. You have to be ready for it, because it's a lot of dogs and a lot of cats and, a, and just like this whole cacophony of noises which if you're not a cat or dog lover, it's not for you. Where do they get them? Is it that they breed or? They're rescues. Uh -huh. So they're all rescued. And that's a good question, Moss, because it's the point I'm coming to. So these are rescues. So you can imagine some of them are in bad shape, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, in bad shape. So I, had, I told the boys, I'm like, look, we're going to see animals that some of them have been through a lot, but I believe it's important to give them a second chance at love. So we went in with, we came out of the car and were going in with Wangari. I, I, got a, I managed to get Wangari on the court. She's very dope. Wangari is dope, guys, KSPCA. So we looked at many, and I was just like, oh my gosh, dogs. But there was one that we just kind of both fell in love with, and Huru was like her, and she's called Kadogo. By the way, guys, don't laugh. Amina and Mutsi, I see you. For some reason, people laugh at that name. I think it's a cute name. <laughs> And Moss is laughing. Na kadogo na kakama kabosko. I don't know how else to put it. We were not going for aesthetics. We were going for who do we feel we're connecting with. Long story short, we got her, put her in pet boarding, a place called Pet Village, who they hold on to your dogs while you're either traveling or whatever, because I still needed to know that the boys were comfortable. The day she was being picked to go to Pet Village, the boys cried. I'm, I felt like such a bad mom. I'm like, no, no, no. I need to build a kennel, get a gate. Fast forward, we brought her home. We've been with her since Jan, and she's such a joy. But who is Janet? I was like, I want two dogs. Then I closed that chapter. So again, <laughs> <laughs> so again. And there was a certain dog that we had in mind. But when we went there, this other one started to stir at my heart. Why? He just kept, you know the way they put up their paws on you? Yeah. He would go around, come back, put his paws, and I was just like, oh my gosh, I really like him. And he has one eye. But that didn't matter to me because I was just like about the connection. And I asked Huru, how do you feel? Huru kind of wanted another one, but in the end, we all agreed, let's bring, his nickname is Jicho, which I know is <laughs> brutal. Well, we had a has Jicho one. in Masai Mara. What's that? A Jicho in Masai Mara, a lion. Oh, really? Yeah. He's a lion called Jicho? Yeah. There was Scar. That was Jicho. He had a, this oh, very wow. visible scar okay. for my fight. Wow. I love such stories. Now you're going to go make me look for scar. <laughs> Whoever would like to take yeah, me to Masai Mara. He's the most popular. No, he died, unfortunately. Oh, no. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but he was one of the like dominant, mm. resilient li lions. lions. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We brought Jicho home a few days ago. Now, Jicho has been through a lot of trauma. Ukim Karibia, he like, you know, but he, he gets like defensive, mm -hmm. but he's still very sweet. So I was a bit confused when he came home. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> he likes his space. He likes his space. And then guess what happened was I, I called KSPCA the next day. Yeah. I called Wangari. I'm like, hey, Wangari, now, Jicho, Nini Nini, I don't know whether we should bring him back. She very calmly, she's just like, 
Just give him time. I can't explain why that statement made me do a deep dive into what is that, what was that instant gratification that I was looking for? What is it that I had fantasized or considered or thought without considering the fact that every situation, every person, every animal, every project has a different way that its time evolves. Yeah, and adapt to new environments. Like why didn't I consider the fact that guy has just come, he's stressed because it's a new place. He has one eye because he was rescued in bad condition. KSPCA had to do surgery to remove his eye and stitch it. So there's that trauma of all those things. But by the time we were picking him, he's very loving. Even now, it has a happy ending because he's such a sweetheart and we are going to keep him. But I have to admit, whether shamelessly or not, that I was like, I am not sure. And then Wangari was just like, give it time. Even Francis, if I'm shouting you guys out, Kwake SPCA, they're good. And I'm sure they have headaches just listening to all of us moan. Oh, I'm a fan of Evie. Oh, they're just like I. <laughs> if you've adopted these creatures. So long story short, I almost did a rewind of my life, like in a flash. And I realized I do like things instantly. I'm not the most patient person. But somehow, this is why I think God has a sense of humor. He gave me two boys and put it in my heart to adopt two dogs, all of whom need patience. Like my children, um, who are just like the best thing that's happened in our life, because every child has a different personality, and every parent or guardian can relate to this, you need to take your time with them. Yeah. The same thing with the both dogs we have. So suddenly I have four individuals. <laughs> <laughs> And I was just like, okay, obviously something put it in my heart to adopt these two dogs. And I have my two kids. And me, who is sometimes not patient, sometimes stubborn, sometimes likes things instantly, is being forced, even with founding a foundation, all these things. And I feel like a lot of the frustration I have felt in life is because I've wanted things to, to work out a certain way. Yeah, and within a certain time. Within a certain time. This isn't how I imagined it, but maybe... I just need to approach it differently with patience. Like now we were advised, let him come to you. Or with my kids, if one of them is throwing a tantrum about something, it's like you have to be calm, calm down, take your time to hear them out. And with everything around you, your projects, your relationships, you have to approach them differently and you have to extend grace and patience. And I, instant gratification, guys, it's not the... Oh my God, you know what sisters hit me? IG. Mm -hmm. Instant gratification. IG, Instagram. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I'm not the first person who's noticed that, but I guess we, we live in an instant gratification society. Yes. And I didn't think I was that person most, but I realized, actually, Janet, you low-key are. You low-key want things to work out a certain way, but it needs time. The new high needs to be restrained. Yeah. Like, I want my new vibe to be restraint and patience because it's harder to adapt to that but in the long run i think it really molds your character next level and i feel like i'm easing into it now again when i when i realized that on sunday after that phone call there's a part of there's something in me that has switched it doesn't mean it'll be overnight like you're saying we all struggle from time to time yeah but i then i sat and told my kids guys this is life this is life what we are going to go through with Jicho, taking him as he is, approaching him in a calm way, getting him to warm up, that is how life is. You won't always have a fairy tale happy ending. You won't always have the results that you want overnight. But there is something to be said about sometimes it will work out that way, sometimes you need to give it time. And that's just the balance of life. And I feel like I was telling them maybe we just need to learn this together. Yep, because it's the same with relationships. Oh man, don't even get me started. Wait! Mahuru Mami! Wait, wait, wait! Huru! No! Oh, you, you're coming outside. Yeah, okay. Ma, Kadogo, just come here. Come here, come. The beautiful chaos of kids and dogs. And, but I'm, I feel like I couldn't be happier, honestly. It's so interesting to kind of like recreate kind of a snapshot of how I grew up. It's about it's, quality life. It's about quality of life. It's about the simple things and... I know that it's not something that everybody can relate to, even financially it's not something that everybody can do. But again, if I can urge you guys to do something, I think there's two points of this video. The first one is 
checking your instant gratification mode and seeing how to balance it out with restraints and patience. And the second one is doing something like visiting KSPCA and just um, finding your way to adopt and love creatures that really need it, animals and cats and dogs, and um, you'd be surprised what it does to you. You'd be surprised what it puts in you and how much it changes you. And they really need it. I think they're oversubscribed right now. So if you can, pay a visit and, you know, or just get a pet, guys.